Are you ready for Sunday school, kids? Yay! Hi, welcome to St. Thomas Stittsville. I'm Marilee. And I've got a story to tell you today. But first, what's coming up soon? What do you know? Are you thinking about Christmas? Me too. I'm thinking about my Christmas tree and all the presents that are under it. And I'm thinking, I can't wait to open them. And I'm also thinking about all the presents that I want to give to all of my friends and family. I brought two, two gifts over with me today. I brought this one. It's all wrapped in beautiful paper. It's got gold ribbons all tied around it. It looks like something expensive. I don't know. And then I brought this one as well. It's not even wrapped. It's just a cardboard box tied with a brown string. Hmm. If I gave you the choice, which one would you want to open first? Aha, uh -huh. a lot of you said this one. This one looks like it could be something very interesting, very exciting. This one doesn't look so exciting, but it could be very interesting. Mm -hmm. A few of you said this one, and that was what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about a king, a king that was born at Christmas. Jesus was, is our king, and he was born over 2,000 years ago. But as a king, you would expect that he would be born in a palace or a castle, that he'd have lots of people around him, that he'd have wonderful clothes and lots of food to eat, and lots of money and lots of toys. You would expect that of a newborn king, wouldn't you? But Jesus, instead of the beautifully wrapped box, he was born in a stable, like this box, it's not wrapped at all. A stable is a barn where animals live. And when he was born, he didn't even have a bed to sleep in or a crib. And they put him in the manger. A manger is a wooden box filled with hay for the animals to eat. But it was the softest, safest place to lay the baby. He didn't have any clothes except for the blanket Mary had brought and she wrapped him up in the, in the clothes and laid him in the manger. And that's how our king was born. Do you remember any of the king's names that were born in castles or palaces? I can't say I remember maybe more than two. But over 2,000 years have gone by and people around the world still remember that baby that was born in a stable and laid in a manger. So my money is on this one. This is the one that I want. I want Jesus in my life. And all he wants us to do is to give to others. And that's what we do at Christmas, we give. And we can give to people we don't even know, the way Jesus did. He went from town to town and city to city. He didn't know anybody. He still gave them love and hope and peace. He gave them healing and whatever he could do for them, he did. And that's what we should do, a following Jesus' example. We should give to other people. Give to the food bank. Give to the Toy Mountain. Give to some of your friends who you know don't have very much. Something to think about this Christmas. Let's say a little prayer. Dear Father, we are thankful that you love us so much that you sent your only son to teach us how to love one another and how in this way to show our love to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hi, welcome to God's Garden. We're gonna do a couple of crafts today for Christmas. The first one we're going to do, I'm gonna give you two ways of doing it, okay? The first one is going to be the stable and the manger and Mary and Joseph. And you can see the baby Jesus in there. So you can print this off, or get your mom or dad to print it off from the children's activities. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the bottom part, because we don't need that part. So on this one, we're going to need some crayons. The brighter colors, the better. We're going to need a little bit of oil, okay, and a brush to use with the oil. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to color just inside the manger, make it look like a stained glass window. A 
lot of churches have stained glass windows. It's where they make the window and add a, a colored dye to it as they're making it so that it comes up a different color. And when the sun shines through it, it's just beautiful. So we're going to make this so that when you hang it in your window at home, the sun will shine through it, almost like magic, and it will be beautiful. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just color in just whatever um, little blotches of color that you want anywhere you want on, on the background here. I'm just going to do a little bit of yellow here and a little bit of yellow here. And maybe some yellow around the baby. Just, yellow is probably the color that will stand out the most. So I'm going to color my star. You can draw a star on your page or have someone help you draw a star. Or you can glue a star on. Just if you want to. We can put lots of stars because I'm sure the sky was filled with all kinds of stars that night. Now I'll take a little bit of blue. Put some there, put some there. And a little bit of the yellow in here too. And you can use white even because white will show up a little bit as well. Even though you can't see it at first when you're putting it on. When we finish, you will see that it shows up. And now some green. The brighter colors, the better, like I said, so that the sun can shine through them. Okay. And here's some pink. And some blue. Okay. So I'll show you mine. But yours can be anything you want. Okay, so I'm doing, going to do that. Now I'm going to turn it over. And on the back, I'm going to paint just inside that line with oil. Okay, so I have a little bit of cooking oil. So you just ask your mom to give you a little bit of cooking oil, a spoonful or two. And then you're just going to paint it on top of the manger. And as you're painting, you will see that the colors are starting to come through on this side now. painting it. I'll show you this. See, they're already starting to shine through. So we're going to finish painting that off in the middle. And then when you hang it in the window, it's going to look just like a stained glass window. Now my, my star is over here, so I'm going to put a little bit on my star as well. Okay. You see that it's a different shade than the paper? So when you hang it in the window, the light's going to shine through it. And it's going to make a beautiful little picture in your window. Make sure that give it a little bit of time for the oil to dry. Okay? Because it will take some time for that oil to dry. <laughs> you could dab it with a Kleenex or a paper towel. And that might soak up some of the extra that you don't need. And then you can do this with other pictures too. Any picture that you want, you can do this with and hang up all up in your windows. So that's our first one. I'll put it over here to dry. The second one, we're gonna use the same picture, but we're gonna do something a little different. It's the same picture, but I have cut out all the parts in the middle. That's the part that we used for coloring on that part. And for this, I'm going to use also a piece of waxed paper. So I'm going to glue this onto the waxed paper. So you need some, some, some glue of some kind, any kind will do. And just put it around the edges of the stable. And on the little figures. You probably will need some help to cut out those little figures in the middle. Mary and Joseph and the baby there. That could be a little tricky, but the rest of it's fairly easy, okay? So then I'm going to turn this over and put it on top of the waxed paper. And trim off the waxed paper that I don't need. Of this, 
you're going to need some tissue paper. You're going to turn it over again onto the back and you're going to put glue again all around the center like we did on the other one with the colors but this time we're going to glue tissue paper on it. all different colors here and it doesn't matter where you put it they can overlap you can put blue and green and yellow and orange whatever colors you have at home all the Christmas colors if you want all right try not to put two of the same ones side by side so that we have a lot of different ones all over the place. And so a couple of pink ones, and a couple of green ones, and I think we're just about done. Doesn't take too many. Okay, so then when you're finished and you hold it up to the light, the light will shine through and you will see a stained glass effect on your, on your stable picture. And you can make as many of these as you want and you can try both different ways and maybe give them out as a gift to your grandmother or grandfather or your best friend. That would be nice. <laughs> okay, our next craft is a very quick one, but a little bit messy. That's why I left it to last. <laughs> All right, so on your handouts, you're going to find a picture like this. Now, I made one the other day, and this is what happened with mine. I put it in a frame. I liked it so much, I put it in a frame. It's my handprint, and then I put the baby Jesus in the middle. Now, it can mean two things. The, the finger part could be the, the legs on the manger, or it could be the hand of God handing us his son, which he did. He gave us his son. So we're going to try to do that fairly quickly, because it just doesn't take too much time to do but it really is, makes a lovely effect. All right, so what you need is yellow paint and you need some brown paint and you need a pail of water because you're gonna to need to wash your hands, okay? And oh, I've got brushes here. So I'm going to use this piece of white paper here and I'm gonna paint my hand brown, okay? This is the fun part. <laughs> kind of looks like chocolate pudding. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter what size your hand is, it's gonna work. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, and a little bit on my thumb. All right, now I'm gonna lay this down with my fingers open and push down on my fingers a little bit to make sure that it's all nice and tight and very carefully take my hand off. And there is my handprint. And then I'm going to wash my hand. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a bit of the yellow to make the, the hay. So I have a different brush for that. And I'm just gonna stir up my yellow a little bit. And I'm going to just get, take from the center and make it little brush strokes outwards from the middle. Okay. Even if the brown isn't dry, it's okay because it kind of gives texture to the hay. You kind of see a little bit of the hay there. Hay is what animals eat and straw is what animals sleep in. So that's why we always say that there was hay in the manger because it was the place where the animals would eat in the barn. Okay, you can put as much on or as little on, whatever you think looks like a lot of hay for the baby to sleep in. Then two more little things you need. It's just a little circle cut out for the head, a little oval cut out. I've got a blue one here for his blanket that Mary wrapped him in. Okay, then I'm going to lay the baby in the manger and put a little bit of glue on the head, put it in there. Put a little, smile on his face and closed eyes because he's sleeping. 
And there it is. Very simple, very quick, and very effective. And I just love putting it in a frame with stars around it. So maybe you could do that too. Another lovely little gift you could give to somebody. Have fun with that. We're going to sing Away in a Manger now. We're going to sing Away in a Manger now. If you know it, sing nice and loud. If you don't, listen to the words and sing it with me when we sing it the second time. Are you ready? Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky shone down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Okay, I, I sing it softly because it's like a, a lullaby. So help me sing it this time. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky shone down where he lay. The little 